Hi guys, welcome to another beer review. Today we've got another beer from Camba Bavaria, and this is their dark side, which is, from what I can get, it's a black lager, so it's a Schwarz beer, pretty much. Well, it's been described as a Schwarz beer on some um, resources. But yeah, brewed with tradition hops, and uh, according to the Camber website, um, it's recently won a gold medal, um, and I think it won one last year as well. Um, as always, there are, is information down below, so you can find out a bit more about the beer. But uh, yeah, bottom fermented yeast in this one, which uh, is what, I think it that's what makes it a black lager. And uh, yeah, it's got some tasting notes on the side, which... I won't read into them too much. So anyway, uh, Campa Bavaria, probably my favourite German craft beer brewery. Um, even though they do you know, fairly traditional beers as well. Um, I just really think they're an exciting brewery. And even the beers that I've enjoyed the least that I've covered on the channel so far have been really good. But uh, yeah. Ooh, it smells chocolatey on the nose. Let's pour it into the glass. And yeah, that is pouring dark indeed. Look at that. Nice hissing carbonation as that's going down. I'll leave a little bit in the glass. So uh, yeah, in terms of colour, uh, that is pretty much jet black. Um, but maybe on the edges you get a really nice deep brown colour. Uh, you definitely can't see through it, so uh, the light in it isn't isn't favourable, really. But oh well. And uh, yeah, look at that. Almost looks like a, a a dark coffee, doesn't it, without any milk in? Especially with that tan coloured head. Uh, it's just pretty much got film, probably due to my pore, to be honest. And yeah, I'm just using like a, a lager glass. So uh, yeah, let's see what it's like on the aroma. Don't know why, but I've instantly got memories of Mashtag 2015 from Brewdog. It's smoky. It's got a real dense sweetness to it. Like really boozy, soaked, uh, like forest fruits, berries, that sort of thing. Definitely picking up a bit of chocolate. Slightest hint of coffee. Yeah, it, is, it smells like a cold coffee. Chocolate berries. Slightly woody, slightly smoky. Um, a little bit of Ribena in there as well and that mash tag 2015 presence is kind of gone now I think that was just as it was you know, settling in the glass smells good smells rich and uh, I should tell you what the ABV is shouldn't I before I get into this one 5.6 percent so you know pretty much a lager sort of ABV anyway let's give it a taste cheers really pick up, pick up that almost like cocoa powder on the back end it's woody it's got sort of like a, a sherry maybe dark spiced rum sort of characteristic to it definitely pick up those dense malts that have got a slight sweetness to them Maybe a caramel malt sort of characteristic. A little bit smoky. And actually almost like a, a milk chocolate sort of characteristic then. It's one of those beers that it seems every time you take a sip, you pick up something new or a flavour completely overrides what you would have said before that. Definitely a complex beer. It's a bit more on the sweet side. It's um, I said side weirdly. Then 
It's sort of like a boozy chocolate cake. Maybe tiramisu with some berries in there. Yeah, full bodied, not really bitter. Things like it got an IBU count of 17. So it doesn't leave it too dry. It's got quite a body on it um, as well. But yeah, very, very nice. Um, very rich, indulgent. Um, yeah, look how creamy that is going in there. Really nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice carbonated. Almost getting like an aged characteristic, almost as if it's been barrel aged or something like that. I mean, I know it hasn't, but it's got that complexity, and that's where that almost sweet, dense rum, raisin, um, <coughs> brandy sort of characteristic. Uh, it's boozy without being, you know, tasting of alcohol, if you get what I mean. But yeah, really, really nice. Really intense, actually. And uh, it is a little bit heavy on the gut, so it's one of those beers that you probably would, well, you take a lot more time than I have so far. I've only, you know, half of it's gone within six minutes. But yeah, it's one of those beers where, even though it's a darker, more intense beer, surprisingly sessionable. It's robust without being too sickly. And uh, yeah, in terms of a rating, this is definitely an 8.5 out of 10 from me. So uh, yeah, that's another very, very solid beer from Camber Bavaria. And uh, definitely deserving of the awards that it has gained. One more look at the bottle. Beautiful artwork as always with these. And uh, yeah, fantastic beer. If you tried this, let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you want to find out more about the beer, links are down below. Check out my Canva Bavaria playlist for some other great beers. And uh, yeah, speaking of great beers, I hope you'll join me for the next review. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to have a really big burp, or could be sick, I don't know. See you later. <coughs> oh.